All right, guys, welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about templates and static files. So basically, whenever you make an actual website, not just these little demos we've been learning so far, but an actual website, you're going to have more files than this one Python file. I mean, you're going to have images, you're going to have CSS, uh, JavaScript, you're going to have, you know, HTML, all of this stuff. Now, the way that you actually organize this in your project is already kind of predetermined by Flask. So first of all, I want to take you guys back to a few tutorials ago where I said that whatever return value of your function is basically your server response. Remember that? And then I said, since that is the case, what you can do is pretty much type HTML in here. So you can throw heading to, you can, I don't know, like make your text blue whatever you want to do and then i refresh it and i was like look at that html in your functions return well to be honest you usually never want to put html in here i mean i was just trying to demonstrate that point but the rule whenever you're using flask is never put html directly inside your return method in the sense that you can actually see the tags so we obviously need to have html for our website so it doesn't just look like craigslist so how do we do that well what we're going to do is we're going to make these things called templates now a template is pretty much just a basic structure or layout with html in it so i'll show you guys a real quick example and it's going to make a lot more sense so you see right here this is just my website the profile page that's everyone's profile page is pretty much the same. I mean, you have your profile image right here, your little about section, and this is my profile, so it just says my profile, but if we were to go to someone else's, it would say their actual name. So again, profile, picture, same things on the left, and their name on the right. Well, instead of writing the HTML for every single person, since it's so similar, what we do is we make a template. A template that says okay this is the structure of it and then whenever you go to someone's profile just stick their profile photo right here and put all the information you need but the HTML the layout it never really changes so that's what we're gonna be doing and that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys right now so the first thing we're actually gonna do is we're gonna import render template and that just means that we can actually use these templates or layouts now we're gonna make two directories and remember my main file right here so I'm gonna go new directory and what one do I let me just go templates first I'll make them both at once one for templates and another one called static now your templates inside here that's gonna be basically just think of it as your HTML files for now so HTML files that we can plug data into now static these are for static um, files that never change, like CSS. Of course, that's just going to be the same until you, you know you update it to a new theme. But generally, your CSS file is never going to change. So all of your static, non-changing files. So we'll get to making those in just a second. But for right now, let me actually show you guys, and we'll switch this from the index to like uh, we'll make the profile. So what we're going to do in this example is we're going to make a fake profile page and we're going to pass in a username. So the layout for everyone's profile is going to be the same, but it's going to be a little bit different, the content depending on their name. So now let me just write profile and remember we pass in name right here and instead of just a straight up bit of text that we're going to return for the server response, we actually want to return render template. All right, looking cool. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go profile HTML and we're going to make this in just a second. And this is going to be our template, our HTML file. Now, what does our layout need in order to know what information to display? Well, it just needs the name variable and we can throw in other ones, but I just want to keep it real simple for right now. So now what we have to do is we need to make this file inside our templates directory and that's why i said you need to have two directories named static and templates you just can't name them anything you want because by default 
Flask is expecting all of your templates to go in a directory called templates. So a new HTML file called profile, and we can delete all this. Actually, keep this doc type at the top, and there you go. Not, wow, I don't even wanna say that, doc type. All right, so what happens right here before we start coding anything else is it says, okay, whenever the user requests this URL, profile with someone's name after it, like profile Bucky, profile Emily, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look in my directory templates for a file called profile to HTML, right there. Now I'm also gonna give it a name variable and I'll show you guys how to use variables in your templates. Uh, might as well do it right now. So just code any old regular HTML in here, just like it was, you know, not even part of Flask. So title, um, all right, title, and I'll say, welcome to the new Boston. All right, so like I said, just regular HTML. And now let me just write a heading one in here. Heading one, and I'll say, hey, or let's say, um, yeah, let's say, hey there, uh, Bucky, or hey there, Emily, whatever. So anytime you wanna use a variable, and remember our variable is called name, which is gonna be equal to some user's name. What you do is you put it in between two curly braces. So curly brace, curly brace, and then curly brace, and then curly brace. Now remember, you actually write the variable's name, which is name right there. So this gets passed through to your template, and eventually this is gonna say, hey there Bucky, hey there Sally, whatever. So if we run this right now, check it out, what was it, profile? All right, so profile slash Bucky, it says, hey there Bucky. Profile slash uh, tuna face, hey there tuna face. So again, one last time, what we're doing instead of writing HTML directly in here, what Flask is doing is it's generating the HTML for us. How does it do that? Well, it uses this template and it throws in these variables. It generates a bunch of HTML using this template and then it returns it as a server response.